hey, what's up? You gonna tell him? Tell him what? Oh, you know, you know the, 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 yeah. I don't know what is. Come on, you know, come on. Oh yes, that's right guys. We hit a thousand subscribers, okay? Heck yes to everybody out there that's been hitting that subscribe button, sharing this out, liking all my content, throwing them comments out, giving me that positive feedback or the negative feedback, whatever it might be. But I hit a milestone I was hoping to hit and that was a thousand subscribers. I had a thousand subscribers, I told myself, I'm gonna go ahead and empty out the old piggy bank and we're gonna go get ourselves some merchandise. So here's what we got. Well, there you go. I dropped the website and, well, I've got a few items up there right now. Uh, we just have hats up there right now and they are limited. So if you want to go get you one, get to thevintage10customs.com, not just vintage10customs.com. Somebody already done stole my domain I was trying to go for and you know couldn't use it. So I had to put thevintage10customs.com. Um, like I said, these are limited. Easter is coming up. Go get them little bunnies, maybe a hat or two or seven, I don't know. But anyways, I did want to say thanks a lot, guys. A thousand, a thousand subscribers to me, that's a big deal, okay? A uh, big milestone in my video editing, YouTube world channel, whatever you want to call this. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. We will see you guys next time. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And well, we've got another project today. And what I mean by another project is it's the same truck, car thing, whatever we want to call us, but a different project on that truck. Like I said, we got about 30 days left. It's not 30 days anymore. Today's probably, I'm not even going to tell you how many days I got left today because that's just going to stress me out, okay? Um, new project on that project is going to be, well, brakes. I, I think it was yesterday we did all of the brakes as far as on the tires, the calipers, you know, we got them horsepower painted, got the coils in, got everything done kind of yesterday on that. But today we need to get some brake lines ran. We got to get brake lines ran about midway back where the cab kind of sits down onto it all the way back, kind of get it all teed in close enough to where once I get it up on a lift, it's pretty much ready just to kind of plumb into the tires. That way I can put the cab back on also because, well, it's easier to do all this stuff when it's sitting like that, okay? When it's sitting like that, much easier. No cab somewhere over in that area. We won't have the bed over here. We're still gonna have to do some work with the cab and the bed on, but we're gonna knock most of the brake lines up about here, back to there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna plumb the front yet. So once again, I'll put a union somewhere in here. We'll lock it in, come across and drop it down underneath the gas tank so we can plumb it to each left and right uh, rear. Now, I'm going to get a little ambitious here. I think I'm going to do some wiring too. I want to get that whole rat's nest of wires way over there, kind of put back on the motor that way. Once again, most of this stuff's out of the way and it's a little bit easier to work on. And if I'm really feeling spunky and we got enough time left, I want to run new wires uh, as far as going to the brake lights, the blinkers, everything that's running from the firewall back into the bed. Sounds like a lot, because it is, for one hour, but we will see. Now, usually I like to bring you guys all along and kind of hold you and do all this stuff, but brake work, brake lines flaring, all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna need two of these hands, okay? So, y'all are gonna stay sitting over there somewhere, maybe over here somewhere, then maybe we'll throw another angle in this way, but you're gonna be on that stand most of the day because I need both these things, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started. I'll kind of walk you through my game plan for what's going on up in the old brain box. So like I mentioned, we're going to do a union somewhere here. There's your back cab mounts, front cab mounts somewhere there. So somewhere in here, I'm going to do a union. That way I can split the two in case I ever had a crack or something, I'll have to replace the whole line. Uh, so we're just going to union here, kind of throw some brackets, rivet those into the frame. We're going to come down on the inside of the frame and about here, we're going to 90 and this way and then 90 down. 
That way I can work on the brakes from underneath. It'll be up under there somewhere. And we'll just terminate it there today. So basically we're just doing a 90 that way. That way getting some flares in, put a T back here. And then we can start, like I said, maybe working with that rat's nest over there. Okay, let's get going. So what we got is some steel line here. We got a couple fittings we're gonna need for what I need. Ooh, purple. Um, brackets, benders, cutters, flare tubers, everything we need. So first I wanna take a measurement kind of roughly how far out. Actually, I'm not even gonna do rough. I'm gonna do the actual measurement of what I need because, well, where's my tape measure? Hmm. Oh, there it is. So, I said somewhere back in here, let's just, let's just hook it on the end there and say there. So, we're going to do a 90, we're going to add a couple inches, get back on there, come on. Hey, stop it. Anyways, we're looking at 73, let's go ahead and add a couple just to play with it. Uh, 75, and then we'll start our 90 degree turn. And... I want it as close to center as possible, which looks like right there is my center. And we're going to hit that at, you would think 16, but remember we're going to inside that frame. Let's say 18 inches. So 75 down, 18 across, and then we'll just kind of drop it. Hmm. How far to get between there? That looks like eh, four inches or so. Yeah, we'll drop it to four inches. We'll see with that in a second, because I think I might end up coming down this frame, not just kind of letting it float around in here. I may end up just securing that brake line to here and then doing some sort of Z down. We'll play with that. Probably gonna have to get that measurement now because if I'm gonna do this in one piece, mm -hmm. okay, is that 75? We'll do the 75, 18, and then we'll just kind of flare it over. We'll go over. See, I'm, I'm very bad at explaining this stuff as far as. This, I want maybe to ride right on this. So I'll, I'll rivet it or something to there. That way that's not slapping around. So if I put it to the center of here, that means I've got to push it out. Um, inch and a half. You know, push it out an inch and a half and then drop it to clear there, which is... Hmm, I'm going to say four inches, three and a half. So inch and a half and three and a half. I'm going to write that down because I'm going to forget this, okay? Inch and a half, three and a half. Three and a half drop, inch and a half offset. Okay, and then what do you say? 75 and 18 and a half ish, ish. Okay, ish. All right. First, we got to get this tube here straightened up. Because, well, just kind of throwing that in there isn't going to work. And, well, I don't have a straightener. This stuff's actually fairly easy to straighten up. And it's going to be on the inside of the frame. So not too concerned with it that way. But before I start straightening it out and making it all pretty looking, I'm going to get rid of all of this little wavy because that's just kind of the stock version. Stock version. That's how it came from the store. So we're gonna cut that out of there. Kind of give us a fresh start. I really should buy one of them tube straighteners. I've seen where some guys take like a two by four or something like that. Now, on the end of these bad boys, somewhere there it is. 
I'm calling this like a little bird, 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 bird. It's a burr tool. Um, we'll kind of open that hole up a little bit and kind of get rid of how that kind of got crushed down a little bit. So just give that a little jiggle, jiggle. Look at that. It's open. All right. This is going to be the end with my union. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on there. I always, always, every time I do these, I forget one of these somewhere. So I'll end up flaring one and I will. So let's see if today. I can't, I can beat that record and I can actually get them all right. All right. We got this fancy tool. I wonder if I can get you right over it. Yep. Because it's pretty neat. Now this really only works the best in a, in a vise. Because, well, it's got so much pressure on it. But doing it on the car isn't the greatest. So you got these dies. These are 3 16 dies. You got one that's like a double flare and one that's not. It's more like a flat end. So we're going to put the double flare facing that way. Let's get our line kind of straightened up a little bit more. And the line's just going to kind of rest in there. Come on. I see that, but there it goes. Lock this over on it. Now, you want this line to still be, oh dang it, to be able to move. So don't smoke the top half down all the way. And we'll move it to the flat. All right, I gotta get, get these dies straight. They've there we go. They were kind of a little bit off a minute ago. Um, we're going to move this, rotate it over to the flat. You can see there's no flare on there. Well, I need my handle too. Let's get the handle in here. And then you're just going to kind of flatten it to get them kind of everything square. Basically, this line, you can still see that line right there. That line is squared to the face of this die. Perfect. Now I've kind of got pressure on it. Now we'll let's just show you again. See, there's the line. There's the die. The die is actually going to push itself that way up against this stop. And while I've got pressure on it, we'll tighten down the top. Yep. Now it's pretty simple from here. Uh, there's one position for the first flare. We're using three sixteenths. So three sixteenths. Position one. Throw that bad boy in there. Yep. Well, I say throw that bad boy in there, but I feel like I feel like it didn't hold. I feel like the line just slipped hold on that. Oh. Doesn't look like the dies are pushed down all the way in here. Let me reset that. Now that's what it was. Oh, look at that. I had the flat towards the flare. That's why those weren't sitting down inside there. There it goes. Okay. Let's restart that. Pressure. Lock that bad boy down. Now let's move this to the position one on the 360. And push. That feels like it took a lot better. So there's your first flare. Now double flare, we're gonna go to, well, number two. 316ths, push that in. Feel it flare. And well, we should have the best professional flare Ta-da! Double, sorry, double flare that there is. All right. All right. 
<laughs> and and I remembered my fitting. Okay, remember my fitting. We'll kind of leave that on there. And now we've got to get this to 75 inches. What in the world? 75 inches. Let's see if I can kind of like mark that off or something somewhere. So I kind of have a reference. 75 is right here somewhere, which is 15 inches off the edge of that. <laughs> Yeah, 15 inches off the edge. All right. So I'll kind of... Now I'll straighten these up a little bit better as we get into frame. Because, well, once again, I have a whole way to go. Maybe I should have done a 75 inch one. That's a lot. 75, what did I say? 15 inches off of that. Mm -hmm. Looks to be right there. See what I mean by that new two hands, guys? Ain't no way I was going to be able to hold y'all getting these close up right over top point of view shots. Not happening. Not happening. So, set that there. 15 inches off of there. Is right there. Boom. Okay. Now we're gonna have to, right there where my thumb is. Right there. Not right there. Right there. Not right here, right there. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do a 90 off of that. And what did I say? I'm going to overshoot it just a little bit. 90. And then 18 and a half ish inches. Okay. 18 and a half ish inches. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and 18, add the inch and a half, add the three and a half. That's going to be five, 18 and a half, so 23 and a half inches. We're gonna go and just do 23 and a half inches and flare that. And then I can do all the bends kind of over there. It's gonna be, that's gonna be the best way to do this. I think. If there's another way to do it, yeah, throw me that comment down there and say, hey, you're doing this all wrong, dummy. Because I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do this. There's lots of other ways to do this. But this is how I'm doing it. Please, please, please. Go ahead. Tell me another way how to do this. So, what I say was 18 plus 5 is 23 and a half ish inches, which is somewhere. Get back over there. Way out here. Way out here. There is 11, 19. <laughs> 23. 23 is right, right there. In case anybody's wondering. Now we can get rid of this other coil stock in here. Fitting. Don't forget the fitting. Fitting, fitting. Boop. Fitting's on there. Okay. 
another flare somewhere. <laughs> okay, set that to zero. Get our dies. Make sure we have the right flared, flared, and well, they should go together. Set that over top, push that in, give it a little bit of tension, slide that in while there's tension on it, tighten, down, tighten, down, move it over to number one, three sixteenths, pop that flare, move it over two more clicks to the other th three sixteenths, pop that second flare, loosen it up. And well, there you have it. Another perfectly formed double flare. With a purple fitting. Okay, so now, somewhere over here, we're gonna have to figure out, let's just send the, let's send the big piece at 75, go ahead and slid it, slid it, slide it through there and there. It'll kind of hold everything we need to do. And we'll start mounting everything here and then take this long portion and strap it later. Strap it later. Oh. Well, that side. That inside of the frame right there isn't painted. Right, right in here is not painted. All right, we're gonna have to take a quick break. There's something to protect that coil. Cause I don't want to paint the coil. Nobody wants. Where's that? Nope. I'll use this. Nope. Oh. Nope. What in the world am I going to use? I'll just use a shop towel. I'll shove that up in there. We're going to need one on top, too. I should probably move my shop towels closer and mount them all the way on the other side. Put that one there, put that one there. Give it a little. Now we can get back to it. Huh. I think what I'm going to do is end up just riveting these. I know somewhere in here, that'll be all the way down. So we still got to do our half inch offset this way. We'll go ahead and kick that. We're in my tubular bender thing and marker. That's here. Okay. So holding the frame kind of ish up there, right there. Coming down the center of here. Here's the center, let's do a bend that way. Make sure you keep your fitting over there. Okay. Now, bend. Bend it. Give it a little ex over excitement. Perfect on now. 
Now, this isn't gonna, it's such a small offset. We're just gonna have to kind of bend that over with our hands without kind of kinking as best we can. So now we need this to that way because I don't know of any other tight bending radius tool that I can use. I'm actually going to use to keep this from moving. I'll keep that there and just ever so slightly Keep it bending. What I do is I keep sliding this down it just to kind of help break up any potential kinks. Well, this needs to be a little bit more. Okay. Now. Ding. So now we're about centered up on the back. That thing is dropped down. It's riding that cross member pretty good. We'll keep it off just a little bit so we can get our tea in there. And now we'll just slap a couple doohickeys. Let me okay. squeeze it in that driver. Yep. Got me a little mm, Allen head screw quarter by 20. <laughs> and get that thing to open up. Put that in there. And Eureka. There you go. So I went ahead and I just wanted to show you guys the last one because, yeah, kind of, those are just kind of threaded in there. Not, that one's threaded in there too. No, that's a nut cert, nut cert, nut cert, all the way down. So now it looks clean. Now it looks like it's, you know, Sort of like I know what I'm doing. We'll hit that T portion after we get it up in the air. There's really no point in doing it right now because I'm just going to be floundering all over the ground. And well, nobody wants to see that. Okay. I think I'm going to wrap this up because I think our time is pretty close to an hour, 45 minutes, 50. I don't know. It is. It is what it is. Today's boring day number, I don't know, 17. Because, well. It's boring. Told you I'd give you 30 days, 30 hours, 30 something of this truck build. And uh, hopefully we can make it to April 18th. Actually, it's going to be more like the 15th or 16th, I said, because, well, I've got to do a shakedown on it and it still has to run dry. And right now, we're not even close. So, anyways, thanks a lot, guys, for sticking around. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, 
Um, share this out. Maybe not this one out because this one's boring, okay? Maybe share out the channel. Um, hit that like button. Hit that dislike button. Throw a comment. We will see you guys next time.